The files in your Git project can either be categorized as tracked files or untracked files. And currently in our project, we don't have any tracked files. And I can show you that with the git status command. The git status command basically shows you the status of your Git project. And here you can see it says on branch man, we'll come to that. It says no commit yet, we'll come to that. But what you see here now is on tracked files. And then it shows us all the parts in our project currently that are on tracked. So api.py is on tracked, the images directory and everything in it is on track. So then what's the difference between these on track files and track files? Well, track files are files that Git is aware of. Off. So Git has a history of those files and when you make changes to those files, Git can actively track those changes. These are files that you would have already told Git, hey Git, I want you to track this file. For example, our API.py. If I should delete this file because this is untracked, Git doesn't have any history of this project. Git is not tracking this project. So Git will not be able to recover this file for me. And if I should go to random test and maybe I make a change here, Git will not be able to manage the changes made in this file because this file is currently untracked. So when file is not tracked, Git doesn't have any history of that file and Git cannot see when you make changes to that file. But when you track a file, then it's going to be part of your repository's history and then Git can be able to tell you, okay, these are the previous versions of this file. These are the changes you have made in these previous versions. So then how do you tell Git, hey Git, I want you to track this file and the subsequent versions of this file that I create in the future. There are a couple of commands to achieve this. If you remember when we did Git status, it said here that you can use git add to include what will be committed so here i can do git add now what file do i want git to track i want git to track api.py so you can either do this or you can also track multiple files at the same time so i can say git add script.js and i also want it to track the images directory so everything in the images directory okay now we have this so what you have done here is you have added the files that you want to track which will be included in the version you are about to create but you have haven't yet created that version all you have done is prepare the changes or the files that you want to include in that version so now how do you create a version this is where you use the git commit command and don't worry we're still going to have another lesson where we dive deeper into the commit command so when you do git commit what you're trying to say is i have these files i have these changes and now i want to save it as a version so when i do git commit because my default code editor is vs code git is going to open this file for me here what i'm going to do here now is to enter a commit message for that version messages are very useful this allows you to easily navigate to previous versions of your project so what's going to be my message in this case i'm just going to say add initial files now how do i save this message i can save it by simply closing this file and when i close it you can see we have some stuff here and then we see we have our message here and what is the summary of our version three files changed two insertions and then we have a create mode for api.py which means api.py was a created file this is the first time we are tracking this file we have images slash this this is the first time we're tracking this file we have script.js this is the first time that we're tracking this file and now these three files that we have added are now tracked now let's say i run git status you see now git status it now tells us these are the files that we haven't tracked yet now let's say we go to api.py and we make a change let's just say we do add a nice feature to our software now watch the difference when i do git status it now says on branch main changes not staged for commits and then it shows us these commands that we can use and then you can see here we have a state of modified for the api.py because git is tracking api.py we included it in the previous version git can now tell you that this file has been modified let's say i delete the file if i should come here and delete api.py don't worry i'm going to get it back if i run git status you can see the state that we have here now is deleted because git is actively tracking this file it can now tell you that this is now deleted but i'm just going to retrieve that file back by doing ctrl z and let's just go back to what we had before a new feature so let's run git status again we have modified for the state of api.py and then here we have untracked files because we haven't yet tracked these files so let's say i want to track another file i'm going to do git add index.html now this is going to add this file to the new version that i want to create so if i do git status you're going to see we have something interesting here it 
says changes to be committed remember we haven't run git commit yet changes to be committed can be interpreted as these are the changes that i want to include in the next version that i want to create currently we have just one version and we can see that version if we go to the dot git directory and we go to logs and we go to head don't worry if this doesn't make sense yet i just want to show you that that first version we created this is the details for it there are a couple of ids and numbers here remember we did git config right so git can see that i am the one that made this change this is my name this is my email some numbers here and then you can see the message that we have for our commit so currently we have just one version but then we have done git add index.html so this will be included in the next version and i can also say git add api.py git add api.py doesn't necessarily mean it's going to add the file you can think of it as it's going to add the changes made in that file so now i can add that and if i do git status you can see currently i have two files to be committed to be added to my next version i have api.py which is in the modified state and i have index.html which is a new file while these other files or these other changes are still on track now i'm going to commit these files i'm going to create a new version earlier i showed you you could do git commit which is going to open the commit message file for you but i'm just going to close this so if i close this it's going to say aborting commit due to empty commit message so instead of doing git commit you can also do git commit hyphen m which stands for message and now i can put my message in quotes so now i can just say add abc feature and now i can press enter so instead of having to do git commit it opens a file then i make my changes in that file i can just use the hyphen m and write my message directly here and this is what i would often do but if you want to write a longer message then you can use git commit so that you can write your message and give the paragraphs or the spaces that you need or the new lines but if it's just a simple one sentence message you can just use the hyphen m command and add your message here now if i should run git status the only files that we have on track are style.css test.java and this test directory and if i should go to this git and i go to logs and i go to head you can see we now have two versions of our project we have the first version here with our message add initial files and we have the second version here add abc feature so i hope this helps you understand the concept of tracked and untracked files tracked files are files that are part of the git repository that git is actively tracking that way git can tell you when those files change currently we are tracking this image file api.py index.html script.js so when we make a new change to these files because git has a history of these files git can tell us oh this file has been modified but as for these other files regardless of the changes i make it's not part of git history so git doesn't know what has happened did you delete the file did you just add the file did you change something in the file git doesn't know because it doesn't have any history for that file if you enjoyed this lesson please give it a like subscribe so you are notified when new lessons come up and let's move on to learning more interesting concepts in git